Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. Air Force Chief of Staff General Mark Walsh III has announced his 2014 reading list. Each Chief of Staff since 1996 has enhanced and continued the professional reading program. General Walsh says this year's list was designed to build understanding with stories of airmen, fellow service members, and leaders from many different backgrounds. To see his list, visit AFLINK. In the nearly six decades since the Minuteman Intercontinental Ballistic Missile System was first conceived in the late 1950s, the weapon system has evolved to meet new challenges and assume new missions. As part of this evolution, programs to modernize the Minuteman have resulted in new versions of the missile, expanded target options, and improved accuracy and survivability. Staff Sergeant David Clark introduces us to a group of airmen at Vandenberg Air, Bo Air Force Base, California, whose sole mission is testing and evaluating the Air Force's ICBMs. The Airmen of the 576 Flight Test Squadron are the only unit of their kind in the entire United States Air Force. And while their primary mission is to operationally test and evaluate upgrades and modifications to the ICBM, there's more to what they do. And it's just not for us to do an operational test of the weapon system. It's actually for us to demonstrate this capability, not just to the American public, but also to our enemies and our allies. We do an end-to-end -end test of the weapon, uh, everything from what we call simulated electronic launch Minuteman up north, and then we bring the booster down here to Vandenberg, and we will launch it from Vandenberg into the Kwajalein to prove reliability and to do demonstration of its operational capabilities. It's not just the missiles themselves that these airmen test. It's also any equipment or software used in the ICBM mission. We work on, on the trucks, we work on the heating and cooling systems, um, for the transport vehicles, we work on the batteries that contribute directly to the launches. We maintain the facilities where the missiles are at so that they have power and that they operate properly. What makes the 576 Flight Test Squadron unique is not just that these airmen test new equipment, but also because they play an active role in the successful test launch of these missiles up to four times a year. When launch day comes here at Vandenberg, there's a great sense of pride amongst the airmen. A launch is pretty special here, you know, and it's, it's special for us, it's special for the, uh, the task force of operators and maintainers that we bring down from each of the wings to accomplish this mission. We work hard for months to get a launch off, watch it leave here, uh, and then, you know, approximately uh, 30 minutes later land at the Reagan test site of the Kwajalein Atoll. And it's thanks to the nearly 200 active duty airmen and civilians working behind the scenes at the 576 that if the need arises, our nation's 450 ICBMs are mission ready. Air Force Sergeant David Clark, Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. To follow along as they document their journey of the Global Strike Command mission, visit the 28 Days in AFGSC blog at globalstrike.dodlive.mil. Thousands of human tissue samples will be collected at U.S. Air Force Hospital Langley in Virginia. Airman First Class Tori Patterson shows us how one technician helped to make their mission more efficient. Human tissue samples screened at the Histopathology Laboratory at Langley Air Force Base provide clues to patients' illnesses. Histopathology technician Staff Sergeant Jeremy Burnock explains how samples are essential in medical treatment. Basically we study disease in abnormal tissues, whether it's like a skin shave or a kidney or a lung or uterus, anything, anything that comes off your body we get it. And then we do a, a microscopic and a, a macroscopic examination to make sure there's no underlying diseases. Sergeant Burnock played a critical role in setting up the histopathology lab, which is a new addition to the base hospital. Tissue samples had to be sent to Lackland Air Force Base for testing in the past. Now the work can be done on site, cutting the processing time in half. Accomplishments like this and others helped Sergeant Burnock become the 2013 Air Combat Command Laboratory NCO of the Year. Airman First Class Tori Patterson, Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. From the Air Force Broadcasting Service, I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Thanks for watching.